Hi guys, welcome to vlog 26 and welcome back to my apartment here in uh, Kuta which is where I began my trip in Bali back at the beginning of January. So I've kind of come full circle but I'll explain a bit more about that shortly. What else from me? A quick update I guess. So if any of you guys saw my last vlog, you would have seen that my main external hard drive, my hard drive died and I gave it to a Russian guy to try to fix, couldn't do it. He gave it to someone else to try and fix, they couldn't do it. I gave it to someone else, some data recovery experts, they couldn't do it. Basically the hard drive has died. I want to keep it and take it back to England and just have one last chance to see if anyone back there can do anything with it. It is important to back up your files guys, but I would suggest back up everything. I had to be selective because my backup drive was half of the storage size as the main one. You idiot! Because I was kind of thinking, well, I just need to back up the most important files. Probably nothing will go wrong, but if it does, I need the important one. I have the important ones, which is great, but I also lost everything else I had. But what else is new? So I've been traveling around Bali as a bit of a tourist, really. You know, I've kind of been in Kuta for two weeks. I was in Changu for two weeks. And then I thought, well, you know what? I need to see more of the island and actually get around, do a few of the tourist things. So I went up to the north to a coastal town called Lavina, which is very beautiful, very sleepy, and very quiet. I want to show you a bit of that soon. And I also went into Ubud, which is kind of in the center of uh, Bali. Probably the most popular area in Bali because it's it's very kind of bohemian, it has this kind of like vegan cafe culture, but also a lot of beautiful nature, some beautiful temples, some waterfalls, some forests. So it's kind of cool to kind of walk around. I mean like, whatever you're into, if you're into the smoothie bowl culture, I'm not. Or if you're into like, just seeing some nature, some waterfalls, I am. Um, then you know there's something a new bud for everyone really so that's cool to go and look around and check that out and now I've come back to Cuda where I'm going to spend my last 11 to 12 days here in Bali before I fly away to my final destination on this trip so after nine months of traveling I've got two months more of traveling and it's going to be based in one country where I'm going to be doing some film work for my film Four Sides of a Coin which is going to be a film about different human values uh, around the world you can read more about that in the link below but yeah so the next destination is my last destination and I'll be there for two months. Last 12 days in Bali, I want to catch up on some riding, do some work, but in the meantime, why don't I show you around Lavina and Ubud and let's have a look at what I got up to. By the way, my ears, in case you're wondering, they're better. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. After two weeks of living in Changu, I decided to explore more of the island. So I went back to Cuda to this really cool bus station where they had rock and pop posters all over the walls, even some guitars, and actually like a staircase which resembled like something out of Lord of the Rings, and then I took a bus all the way to the north of the island to Lavina. The bus was pretty simple but only $10, and we went through rain and sunshine all along the way. Okay guys, so bathroom break, 2,000 rupee, it's like about 10 cents. Let's see what we got. Oh, ho, ho, beautiful. You get like a bucket and then you uh, fill the little um, sort of tank with water and use the bucket to manually flush the toilet, which is cute, right? That's never really the most pleasant experience. But the plus side is, look how beautiful it is around here. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get an ear candle, an ear candle to like help clear my ears out because I'm deaf in this ear. Today I was kind of like swimming in the sea and this big wave went whoosh and like my ears got some water in it so I'm totally deaf in this ear so I'm sorry if I'm shouting. This place here, uh, right behind me, they put a candle in your ear, this special candle that has like a hole in it and when it's burning it kind of sucks the wax out of your ear into the candle or something. <laughs> I don't know, let's go and see how that works out. This turned out to be an absolute disaster. And in fact, this woman, it was her first time of ever doing ear candles. And in fact, the massage place where I got this done transpired to be a part-time brothel. I had to go to hospital to have some nurses surgically remove a plastic filter which had got stuck in my ear by the woman who was doing the ear candles. In fact, the woman even tried to take it out with a knife. So I had to go to the hospital as fast as possible. And there is the plastic filter that was stuck in my ear. The nurses then took some water to clean both of my ears out and left the water in my ears. So I was basically deaf for about two days until some medication started to work. I only had one or two days in the Lavina area. So I paid a local guy to drive me around and show me the best parts of Northern Bali. 
Okay guys, so we're here at the Gip Gip Waterfall. It's kind of close to Lavina. So we're gonna have a little walk around the trail and see if we can show you guys a little bit of the water tripling down. After a brief 20 to 30 minute walk through some jungle, I could hear the sound of the waterfall gushing very close by. And sometimes there's nothing more exciting than hearing the sound of a waterfall so close. Okay guys, so this waterfall is pretty spectacular. You know, sometimes you go and visit a waterfall and you know, it can be like a bit of a trickle or like a, just like a, someone's trying to tap on a little bit of water coming down a rock. But this is pretty damn impressive. I've seen some great waterfalls in my time in like Iceland and different places. But this one is way up there. Yeah, absolutely amazing, beautiful. Okay guys, so a quick pit stop because I've just seen a bunch of monkeys all hanging out on the side of the street. So we're going to come and say hello to the monkeys and I'm sure they'll say hello back. Oh my gosh, these monkeys are so cute. Dude, they're just so amazingly clever. Like even when they get the banana, they know how to peel the banana. They're peeling the banana like a human and just eating it. Absolutely amazing. So here we are uh, at this big lake here in Lavina by Baratan Temple. Um, so it's this big beautiful temple in this lake, hopefully. We're gonna go and have a look. Um, but yeah, as you can imagine, it's a huge tourist draw. Uh, so there's literally tour buses over here and a bunch of billion people. So it's gonna be a pretty fast look to go see the temple and then get out. Let's go. Okay guys, so as you can imagine, this really is kind of one of those places, for me at least, that you just kind of arrive at, have a look around, and then probably go because, yeah, it's pretty busy. Um, and a lot of other people here were taking their selfies and whatever, which is great, you know, I understand why. But for me, yeah, I'm kind of done. So let's go to the next destination. I'm not sure where it is. The driver is just taking us on a magical mystery tour today. So we'll just kind of see where we end up. Over here is supposed to be a hot spring. It's still actually raining. We've got a bunch of rain coming in, but the water should be warm, so we'll go in. So guys, this is the holy hot springs here in northern Bali. It's natural kind of hot springs coming from the volcanic rock. You know, I mean, like swim around and it's very nice. It smells of sulfur a lot, so that's just kind of one of those things, but yeah, it's cool. After one or two nice days in Lavina, it's time to pack my bags and take a ride and head down south to the middle of the island to Ubud. Okay guys, so it's a very early start this morning. Well, I say early, do you know what? It's not really early, it's like 7.30 in the morning. That's not that early, right? I mean, I used to get up at like six for work. <laughs> so this really isn't that bad. I'm just making a big fuss about it because you know, when I'm traveling, I can get up at like nine. But yeah, it's an early start this morning, it's 7.30. I'm gonna head down to this sacred temple here in Ubud called the Goa Gajar. It's also known as the Elephant Cave or like an elephant temple. I think the origins or it's known as the Elephant Cave because there's 
a stone statue inside which represents the Hindu god uh, Ganesh, which of course is depicted by an elephant face. Uh, so when you travel to Southeast Asia and you see all the elephants on the t-shirts, so that's kind of what it relates to. Um, but there's a stone statue of Ganesh inside this cave and you think that could be kind of why it's known as the Elephant Cave or Goa Kajar. Um, also, it's on a kind of considered sacred site because these two rivers or two streams used to flow into each other. So they kind of figured this is kind of like a sacred site, a special place, so we're gonna build our little elephant cave right here. I believe it dates back to the 9th century, some of it. I think some guy discovered it in like the 1920s or something. So and before that, it kind of laid buried for about a thousand years. So that's really exciting. Let's go and be archeologists. <laughs> So right here, walking down the street towards the temple, basically discovered the uh, the temple shop. Anything you might need for your temple, you can buy here. If you need a mask, if you need a spear. Ah. So I think we're ready to go, guys. Let's go. Okay guys, so like many of the uh, religious or sacred kind of places here in uh, Bali in Indonesia, when you enter or walk around the temple, uh, you have to wear a sarong, or as I like to call it, a little man dress. So let's get dressed. So it is pretty much that you walk in, there's a kind of cavernous room with the Ganesh statue on the left and three kind of bulbous kind of fingertip things on the other side. And that's pretty much it. So I think it's really about the carving on the outside, um, which is absolutely amazing. So if you leave the main kind of like first floor kind of area where the elephant cave is, you come down all these steps really into like the jungle basin, um, which has got these beautiful little waterfalls these kind of ancient ruins which have tumbled down the hill. There's like a Buddhist temple down here as well. So we're gonna go check it out and have a little look around. So hot, so sweaty. Guys, so that wraps it up for Go Gajar. I'm gonna leave this right here and go get a glass of water. The cool thing about Bali sometimes, just sometimes, is that kind of when you're walking home, you just kind of cross the street and then you stumble across this kind of valley with a beautiful waterfall, just like this one. Much fresher than that. Four hundred ninety-nine, five hundred. All right. Woo. All right, guys. Guys, I hope you like that vlog. If you liked it, hit that little thumbs up button and show me that you like it. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about it or what you disliked about it. Both is good, it's all good. Um, I try and make each vlog a little bit different so it's kind of a bit fresh and interesting. So tell me what you like more of or less of and we'll try and make them even better. Cheers. One more thing. Also guys, I was thinking with this channel, because I'm like constantly busy at the moment, traveling, writing a book, trying to make a film, and filming some stuff for vlogs, taking photographs, enjoying myself, and just trying to, you know, have a bit of me time too, I want to try and keep this uh, channel a bit more lively. So instead of uploading a vlog once a week or every two weeks, I was thinking about maybe every week, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, I have to decide yet, yeah, I'll upload very short video, like two or three minute videos. I'm just working on the format of what that'll be exactly, but I think it's gonna be a fun, kind of punchy, two, three minute video, just a bit of fun in the middle of the week um, in between vlogs. 
So hopefully you guys will watch that. So stay tuned for that and keep your eyes out. If you want to subscribe to this channel, that'll be great. Subscribe. You get notifications of all new videos I make coming out, including these new little midweek videos I want to start doing, as well as the main vlogs. Um, and guys, I'm just going to let you go and enjoy your weekend, you know? So from me, as they say in cuter, Au revoir.